Life before ALF Project was lonely. Um, I was miserable. I was either on the streets or in jail. Um, I was drug addicted, um, running the streets uh, with really with no direction before I found ALF Project. I was probably for a long time in denial because I just didn't want to believe that he was as bad as he was. My mom, who always thought the world of me, I was her baby, um, really just, um, it killed her almost. He um, was arrested for some burglaries and uh, so that was a pretty good wake up call there. I robbed them of, of self-respect, um, everything you can think of. So it affected my family in a major way. It was just, it, when I found out he was living on the streets, it was heartbreaking, it was sad, it was disappointing. I either slept um, abandoned houses, um, in, the, in garages, you know, wherever I can find shelter. I would, for some reason, I would always be able to find him. I could get in my car and find him in 10 minutes. I was lucky that way. So at least I knew he was still out there, but. I started using heroin on a regular basis when I was about 16. She actually found the ALF project for me. She found, in it, I think in the phone book or something. And so I was in jail. And that's when I asked a friend, or she just mentioned it to me and then. And she said, you know what, I think you need to find this place and, and try it out. That's where it started. The good part started. I got to Casa in 1999, uh, of course, as a client first. And I think it's their philosophy, too, where they don't just sit around and boo-hoo. And, and I started out just as a driver. Um, then I was promoted to hawker supervisor. They have to get up and work for that meal and, and that warmth in the shelter. So I think that's really what helped him, too. And then I was promoted again to uh, work supervisor, Alpha Works manager. We went to all the step ups. We went to the graduation, which was absolutely wonderful. It was wonderful to see his progress. And then they asked him to stay on and work. And he lived there for a while, which I know was tough, but he held it together. And, but he, and then gradually just moved up to the position where he is now. And Three years ago now, I was promoted to program manager. Jason these days to me is uh, just a pure success. <sighs> it's a very demanding job. Um, you know, we, I oversee 22 staff members and 140 clients, so it can be very demanding at times. And the, the wedding, it was just all great. <laughs> My, I have a family now, you know, I have a wife and I have a brand new daughter. Um, that definitely helps. I have a loving family. Now we have a grandbaby. It's, well, it's a commitment that, that, I mean, that's what Alpha Project's all about, and that's what I was taught. I mean, from day one, you know, we, we were a team. Um, it's commitment. It's, it's, strive, it's, it's strive for the best. You know, you, you, um, there's, there's good in everybody, and, and that's what we do here. We find that good in everybody, and we bring that out, and we show that to people. For Jason, every dream that I had for him has come true.